Hi, my name's Lee, I work for Micro Scooters and today I'm going to show you how to change the folding block on your cruiser scooter. Um, if you've got any problems with folding and unfolding, it might be a problem with the folding block or some of these buttons may well have got stuck in. So I'm going to show you how we do that. To start with, what we're going to do is, we're going to undo the locking clamp here. And then with the locking clamp on this side, if we just take a little bit of tension, so just push in where that pivot is, and then a the knurled nut that's on this side, we're just going to do that in, we're going to screw that in as far as we can, as tight as we can. Right. So now we've done that, what I'm going to show you can do, what we're going to do now is remove this little pin, this little clip that's on the end of this pin. So what we're going to try and do is this sleeve clip here, that holds the pin in place that holds the locking clamp together. So what we're going to try and do is just going to try and get that off. So we've just got a little pick, and we just get it in the little gap. I'm just going to work it out. So there we go. We've got the little C-clip there, and we're just going to put that to one side. Now we've removed the C-clip, we just need to undo this little knurled nut here. So it's just normal anti-clockwise thread. And we just undo that. We can push it through. And then we pull it out from one side. And on this side as well, there's a plunger and there's a spring, and I'll show you how to put that back together again once we uh, once we reassemble. Now what we need to do is using the two Allen keys that, that came with the scooter itself, is remove this axle bolt here and it bolts to itself. So there's one on each side. So I do it like this so you can see. Be a little bit stiff because of the lock tight that's on the thread. There we go, that's one half of it. And then what I normally do is use the Allen key and just push through this side, and then the other one comes out the other side here. And then we can remove, just press in the button to remove the handlebar stem from the actual deck, so we can put that to one side. Then we've got two more bolts that we need to remove. Kickstand bolts, which are this side. They bolted through onto the other side. So again, using the five mil Allen keys, we're just gonna undo those. one side and then the front ones there you go and the kickstand then comes off with the bolts that then should uh, enable us to remove the folding block also make sure we don't lose this is a spacer that's inside here. Sometimes it slides out, sometimes it doesn't. In this case, it's staying in, in front, but if it does come out, it just lives underneath there, so it just slides in, in the deck. Right, assembly is just the reverse, but I'll take you through it. We're gonna take our new folding block, place it in. Our um, kickstand will go to the left-hand side as we're standing on the scooter. And then the short bolts, the little, the little black ones, um, go in on the left hand side with the kickstand. And they go through. We'll put them both in so we can hold the kickstand in place. And then the longer ones, we we'll just push through and we're just going to start them off. Making sure that the thread's good. And the same with the back one.
the other end here, we just hold them to make sure that we can do the tie. There we are, then we've got our folding block attached to the deck. Now we're going to put the stem back on the deck. Easiest way just to go straight down so we can find where this axle bolt goes in. Go. A bit fiddly, and then the screw goes through the other side. And then we've got the axle in. Tighten that up. Now with this bolt here, this axle bolt, it tightens against itself, and especially, especially it's a special length. So although it's tight against itself, it is still loose, and that enables that the, the handlebars can pivot on the folding block. Because if it was tight, then you wouldn't be able to pivot it. Right now we need to put the um, the locking clamp assembly back together again. said before the spring and the plunger they go down inside this little silver um, hollow bolt here so go the spring goes over the plunger and then the plunger with a top hat sits upwards like that so you can just push it in and out now the locking clamp where the, the recesses, the hole is, the plunger sits inside that, and the threaded and the threaded area goes in through the hole, um, through the through the plate. So it goes like that, and then the threaded part comes pushing through the other end. Now the knurled knot that we took off, we're just going to screw back on. And we need to screw it back in as far as we can, like I showed you when we're undoing it because we need to put that little clip back on. So that's in as far as I can, and then we should be able to show you how to get the, the C-clip back on. Right, so I've got the little C-clip here, and what I'm going to do, it's going to be a bit fiddly, I'm just going to sit it on top of the recess, and then with a little screwdriver, I'm just going to push down on the end of the C-clip, and, you and you'll feel a positive click. There we go, that's clicked on. Now we just back that off a little bit now. What we need to do now is just back this little knurled nut off a little bit just so we've got the right tension on this locking clamp. So it's a little bit stiff on that side. So I'm just gonna back it off a little bit more. So there we go, a nice and positive folding on the, on the locking clamp there, not too stiff, not too loose. So we'll just check that in the upright position. Press the button, stand it upright. And there we go, push the locking clamp together. Yep. Stiff, but not too stiff. So it's nice and firm, holding it all in place. That's how we change the folding mechanism, folding block on your uh, cruiser scooter.